Everything Donald Trump touches is stained by his corruption and lies. Even something as benign as a charity that bears his name, under further scrutiny and investigation, turns out to be a corrupt and even criminal enterprise. Trump's charity foundation was determined by New York Attorney General Letitia James to have been nothing more than a personal piggy bank for the president and his children. The Trump Foundation was closed down due to the illegality of its handling, and the remaining donations were distributed among nonprofit charities under government oversight. However, that doesn't resolve the state's lawsuit against the foundation. James filed legal paperwork requesting that Trump pay millions in restitution after illegally using the funds and restrict the Trumps from overseeing any charitable organization. According to the Associated Press. State Attorney General Letitia James, a Democrat, detailed her case against the foundation in a 37-page court filing in a lawsuit that seeks $2.8 million in restitution and an order banning Trump and his three eldest children from running any New York charities for 10 years. Is. The GOP and the Trump administration has blasted James as a Democrat with an agenda, making up lies against Trump for political gain. They never want to discuss the actual proof James has against Trump, but there's quite a bit of it. James said the evidence of banned coordination between campaign officials and the foundation includes deposition testimony from Trump Organization executive Alan Weisselberg and emails he exchanged with former Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski. Perhaps the most shocking allegation, backed by multiple sources of proof, is that Trump's charity organization mishandled donations to veterans groups, which were collected during the 2016 campaigns when Trump skipped a Republican debate out of protest of his perceived unfair treatment by Fox News' Megyn Kelly and held a charity drive to raise funds for veterans. The money went through the Trump Foundation, which is illegal, and money held by that foundation was not used for charities. Trump was also accused in the suit of directing that $100,000 in foundation money be used to settle legal claims over an 80-foot flagpole he had built at his Mar-a-Lago resort in Palm Beach, Florida, instead of paying the expense out of his own pocket. The investigation doesn't stop with Trump's charity, however. Every aspect of Trump's business and personal financial life is under scrutiny and turning up corruption at every turn. James, a Democrat newly elected to office, also issued subpoenas Monday to Deutsche Bank and Investors Bank seeking records related to four Trump real estate projects and his failed 2014 bid to buy the NFL's Buffalo Bills 